Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel. So a few days ago, I posted on my Insta story asking what are the biggest struggles when it comes to posting on social media. And it doesn't have to be business related. It could be like a personal account problem that is just bothering you. And most of the responses that I got, a huge chunk of it, it falls under the theme of what other people may think. And I'm not really surprised because it's a problem that I've been through myself and a lot of my close friends are going through it, which is why I want to sit down and just talk about how can we overcome Instagram or social media anxiety and how can we just ignore judgment and just get started. This video, it's not really scripted. I kind of planned or had a few ideas in my head, um, but that's pretty much it. Um, it's more so a sit down, chitty chat thing and I might like suggest some action steps that we can take but let's see how that goes. One thing that I want to start with is that this learning that I learned from my cultural psychology course a few years ago. I, I'm, I'm addressing this because most of my audience, most of you are Asians and the responses that I got are all from Asians so I feel like it's quite a good fun fact for you to like reassure you that you're not alone. So the Eastern culture people, we think more so in a collective way. Our life revolves around the people around us. We care a lot about what people think about us. Um, our social status stems from like what people think we are doing. Um, it's a lot of like outside in. Whereas the Western culture, it's more individualistic. It's more inside out. It's more about this is who I am. This is what I like. Ha! Huh? And then I'm letting the world know. It doesn't really concern much about people around you, but more so by yourself, which explains why in a North American culture or like Caucasian culture, people are more daring to express their thoughts and their feelings and like what they really want and what they really are. They always seem more confident about it. And it actually is affected by, you know, our blood. It's actually ingrained in us. It's ingrained in our culture, in our blood. When I learned about this, it made me feel less alone because it made me feel like, okay, I'm not the only one that's like so not confident. It's everyone around me that I grew up with, you know? And I think it's important to know about that because it helps us to, at least it helped me to realize that like, okay, so this is actually my blood, but how can I overcome it? How can I change my attitude? How can I change my mindset to get to a more confident person who doesn't care so much about what people think that I do? And let's talk about what people think we may do, right? It stems a lot from our own insecurity. Um, a lot of things come from like all the negative self-talk that we have in our head. And in fact, I actually made a video <laughs> about how to fight your negative self-talk. It's actually quite a fun video, so check it out if you haven't already. A lot of all these negative self-talks, it's, it's just in our head. And a lot of time, they are not really valid. Um, but they do come up when we start overthinking things. So it's more so about how can you fight it? How can you turn this negative into positive to be more confident, right? And once you are more confident, it actually shows. And I feel like insecurity is one of those things that it reflects into everything that you do. If you are insecure about yourself, it reflects on your job, it reflects on your appearance, it reflects on your relationships, and it reflects on social media. So it makes sense that you are insecure to post on social media because you are insecure in general. So if you are able to fight this whole insecurity thing, it should help you to be more confident and less and more secure to post on social media. Another thing is the fact that there are a lot of like perfect posts on social media and you can't help but keep comparing yourself to others. You look at this influencer's post and all of her clothes are different in every post. Or you look at that one, she's like traveling to different places everywhere. And then you look at that one, the feed is like perfectly curated with like the perfect builders, it's good. But the thing is they're all influencers and all this post, it's their job. The one with all the different clothes in her, in her feed, that's because fashion is her thing. She gets sponsored or she needs to buy clothes to, to bring up that personal brand that fits her so that she can sell better to get more gigs, right? And that travel, same, same goes to like the travel blogger or that, what was I saying about? I forgot about that, it's okay. But you get what I'm trying to say is that all these influencers with their picture perfect stuff, 
it's because it's their job. And if your friends, you're comparing yourself to your peers who seem to be doing better than you, remember, social media is just a highlight reel of their life. People only choose to post the highlights, the good stuff, the pretty photos on social media. It's not 100% reflection of their true lives. So have that in mind and also remember that like, you know, you are in a different journey. All of us, we are all different human beings. We have different visions. We are created for different purpose. And it doesn't make sense to compare yourself to someone else with a life that is meant to do different things, right? At the end of the day, you own your life. You post what you want to post. You do what you want to do. And if they want to judge you for it, you know, it's, it's their choice. And to be completely honest, right? People that follow you on social media, they follow you because they're your friends or they like what you post, right? And if they really have something negative to talk about what you post, I think it's worth thinking that you really want these people in your life. If they don't like your post, they are free to like just unfollow you. But if they choose to comment to hurt you, then like, like do you really want these people in your life? Like they're just like a negative, uh, like a rot on the apple that you can just cut off, slice it off, and like move on and eat the rest of the apple, right? So like, yeah, don't care so much lah. <laughs> Remember, social media is not 100% reflection of a person's life. And at the same time, the reactions that you receive, they are not 100% of the reaction from everyone else too. You have to keep in mind that like, you are going to have friends or followers who follow you and then they uninstall Instagram or Facebook and then they stop using the apps. So they're not active when you post your stuff, so you don't get the likes from them. Hmm, it's okay, makes sense. And then there are also going to be people who won't see your post because of the algorithm from Facebook and Instagram. That it's not their fault that they can't see it, so they can't like it. So, hmm, yeah, it makes sense. And then there are going to be people who might not like what you do, but really, does it really matter what they like or not because you like what you do? Mm hmm It's not a hundred percent reflection of what people think, yes, and at the same time, if it is something that you like, if it is something that you're passionate about, just put it out there and share it with the world. You're not going to lose anything. I mean like, as long as they're not something that's super offensive or that's going to like, you know, charge you your job, cost you your business, then do it. There is always an archive button if you don't like what you post, okay? You can always delete the post, you can always archive it, just start first. In fact, I'm going to challenge you to post one Instagram post or like a Facebook post that is true to your heart, that you can write a huge paragraph about it just because you want to, or you can not write anything just because you want to. Okay, this is more so like a personal thing. I'm not saying this for people that, you know, truly wants to build their personal brand and like gain lots of followers and all that stuff. But this is more so for those of you who are insecure to post just because you are worried of what people may think. Just start with one post that is true to your heart. Post it. You don't need to announce it to the world. Just post it and leave it there. If you feel really scared to check out people's reaction, then uninstall the app. You don't need to go check it out. You know, after that, you are very likely to notice that the world still revolves fine, everything is still good, you know, your friends' lives still move on, your lives still move on. It really doesn't matter so much about that thing that you were so bothered about so for so long. And if you are really insecure to start a post, you can always start with an Insta story because it only lasts for 24 hours and you can also refine it to only to your close friends. And a close friend can be just be your boyfriend. It can be just be your best friend, or it can be just yourself, or with just a few people, right? And if you don't like it, remember there's always that delete button, okay? And if you are super, 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 super uncomfortable with all this stuff, there's always the choice to start a new Instagram account and not let many people know about it. I mean, if you really want to get out of your comfort zone, there is a will, there is a way, okay? Social media anxiety, it's really unhealthy. It is a growing problem. And like my biggest concern is that I don't want the next generation, especially my nieces, grow up having that. Because 
it's not good for your mental health and if there's something that you want to share with the world if there's something that you want to show and like you know just be yourself do your thing just do it i am a big advocate for not giving a f about what people think as long as you are doing things that can help you grow that can make you happy just do it okay i hope you enjoyed this video it's not really structured i understand but i hope that it gives you some insights about how to overcome your anxiety in social media and i hope it motivates you to get started with just posting things that is true to your heart be sure to subscribe to my channel if you like this video and you want more of the chitty chat video with me and check out these two videos for more girl boss stuff and like more mindset stuff that you would like and i'll see you in my next video bye bye